welcome back to our channel. We are the Carnahan Fam, where we talk about activities for your babies and toddlers, ways you can be a more organized and productive mom, lifestyles, and more. We're so happy that you are here with us today. Today we are hitting a huge milestone with our developmental milestone series. 12 months old. Your baby is a year old now. And today we're going to dive into developmental milestones for your baby at this age and some activities you can do with your baby to help them reach those milestones. First and foremost, this series goes to 24 months old. So if you're not subscribed yet, you're definitely going to want to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with your baby's milestones as they continue to learn and grow. Let's just hop right to it. milestones for today are gross motor milestones and gross motor milestones are large muscle movements so anything with the arms legs trunk and core those all fall under gross motor skills our first gross motor skill will actually start presenting itself between 9 and 15 months averaging at about 12 months old and that is your baby will begin to take their first unsupported steps such an exciting milestone for many families these first steps continue one after another without furniture or hands or other things to support them. One great way that you can help your baby to reach this milestone is to practice with a little bit of a supportive walk. Help your baby by getting out a wooden stick or a rod. A wooden kitchen spoon actually works great for this activity. Have your baby grab on to the outsides of the kitchen spoon and you hold on in the middle. Assist your baby with walking around holding on to that kitchen spoon. Over time you can decrease your support by changing your counterbalance that you supply when holding the other part of that spoon. Eventually you'll be able to let go and watch your baby toddle all on their own. Our second gross motor milestone for your 12 month old is that your baby is able to, while standing, rotate their chest 90 degrees. A great way to practice this milestone is by putting baby in the middle of a room. Then several feet away from the baby, go just over 90 degrees. Think about if they were a clock, they're four o'clock and they're eight o'clock. Call them by name, encouraging them to turn to look for you. Now we are going to move into fine motor milestones and those are milestones that are related to the muscles in their hands and fingers. Our first fine motor milestone for your 12 month old is that your baby is beginning to build a block tower that is two blocks high. The best way to practice this activity is by demonstrating for your baby what it looks like to stack the blocks one on top of another. At this age, their fine motor skills aren't very well developed. I love these rubber blocks because they're a little bit bigger, a little bit chunkier, and they have a little bit more grip when your baby places one on top of another, giving them more opportunity for success. Our next fine motor milestone for your 12 month old baby is that your baby is able to hold a crayon firmly in their hands. Many parents don't think that babies are quite ready to color at this age, but it is actually a great way to help build their fine motor skills. So offer your baby plenty of opportunity to be able to color holding onto those crayons and building their hand strength. I personally like these mess-free markers by Crayola because one, they only show up on special papers. So even if baby tries to color on her hands or the table or the wall for heaven's sakes, it's only gonna show up on the special paper. I also love them because they are a little bit thicker than their standard thin crayons. Now you can buy jumbo crayons, those will work for their little hands very well as well. Now our next set of milestones are cognitive milestones, which are related to the way that your baby thinks, remembers, and problem solves. Our first cognitive milestone for your 12 month old baby may just start appearing at this time. And it is that your baby is beginning to group objects by some sort of similarity. This might be color, shape, or even size. One of my absolute favorite things to help develop this skill is an all circle puzzle. These all circle puzzles help with their fine motor skills as they're grabbing the knobs and manipulating the pieces. It help with their problem solving skills as they try to figure out which piece of the puzzle matches the board by size or color. And it also continues to develop that sorting skill. Our next cognitive milestone for your 12 month old baby is that your baby is continuing to imitate actions and even behaviors. This might be when you're washing your hands, they rub their hands together too. This might also be when you're singing a familiar song like the wheels on the bus, they imitate the motions of the wheels on the bus too. Help your baby to develop the skill by not only 
only speaking to your baby, but using your hands and body language as well. This is lots of body language, lots of singing, and even kind of exaggerating what you're doing. This helps your baby to connect all those little pieces in their brain, connecting speech, motor, cognitive, all of those different developmental areas in their brain. Now we are going to move into speech milestones, and speech milestones are how your baby understands language as well as the way they express language. Our first speech milestone for your 12-month-old baby is that they're beginning to say words with intention and purpose. Your baby may have been saying words like mama and dada before now without really associating the word with the person. Now at this stage of development, it is likely that your baby will begin associating the word with the object or person by pointing or even looking that direction. Encourage your baby to make associations between the object and its name by explicitly labeling familiar objects. When they bring you a ball, ball, look, ball, ball. This labeling strategy is actually one of 10 strategies that we share in our How to Teach Your Baby to Talk video, which we definitely recommend checking out when you're through with this video. Our next speech milestone is that your baby is beginning to imitate lyrics of favorite songs. And the best way that you can help your baby develop the skill is I know it sounds simple, but singing with your baby. Not just playing music in the background, but being face to face with your baby and singing with them. Letting them watch the movement of your mouth, seeing the expressions on your face, and seeing the hand gestures that you're doing. And the more you do it, the more you will help your baby to learn and grow with this skill. The next set of milestones for your 12 month old baby are social and emotional milestones, which are related to the way that your baby interacts with other people, as well as understands their own feelings. The first social emotional milestone for your 12 month old baby is that your baby is beginning to extend their time in solo playing. This may be time that they are on the carpet playing with toys on their own, or even when they wake up in their crib, the time that they have to themselves playing independently in their bed before you come to get them. One way to set your baby up for success is to set up the toys for your baby. One thing that I love to do is set books out standing around the room, stuffed animals, lines of cars or other toy figurines lined up on the shelves. The more engaging you make the environment look, the more likely your baby is to play independently. The next social emotional milestone actually dowels in speech just a little bit, and that's using words and gestures to communicate their needs to an adult. As your baby continues to grow, she learns that she can rely on you for meeting her basic needs. When she communicates those needs to you and you reciprocate by meeting those needs, your social experience and emotional bond with one another gets stronger. This is key in the development of your baby's brain, especially at this age. So while sometimes the timing might be inconvenient, whenever possible, when your baby communicates her needs with you, do your very best to meet them in that moment. All right, that about wraps up our developmental milestones today. We are going to pass it over to student Dr. Carnahan so he can share with you what you can expect from your pediatrician at your 12 month well child checkup. As I'm sure you all know, one year is definitely a time you're gonna be seeing your pediatrician for a well child check. So here's just a little bit of information about what your pediatrician is gonna be looking for as they inspect your child. They're gonna be looking for growth milestones like we cover in this video. They're also gonna be looking for some red flags that could potentially show that there's something that needs to be looked into a little bit more. Some of these red flags include if by one years old, your child isn't crawling. Another red flag would be if your child can't stand with some support at this age. Some other red flags include if your child doesn't go looking for toys that they see you hide. If your child doesn't point to things or doesn't say single words like mama or dada. Also, if they don't seem to be picking up gestures like waving their hand or shaking their head, those could potentially be red flags. And as always, one red flag that is concerning no matter what age your child is at is if they start to lose skills that they've already had at some point. If they seem like they're starting to slide backward, that's definitely something that you want to talk to your pediatrician about. Kaylee and I are super huge advocates for early intervention. Sometimes this has a little bit of a stigma around it, like, oh, I don't wanna say that there's something wrong with my child. It's not something wrong, it's just that they're not gaining the skills as quickly as they should be. Some early intervention, some extra practice with a few of those skills can really go a long way in helping your child. Thank you again for watching this whole video all the way to the end. We really appreciate it. Also, be sure to hit that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe so you can see all the videos we've got coming up in the next couple weeks. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, bye.